Hello and welcome to Happy Dish. My name is Dana and today I want to share with you my version of a puff pastry. Simple and pretty fast to prepare and after you try the first time this uh, puff pastry I assure you you're going to see a big difference in taste uh, uh, regarding the one that you can buy from the store. Is uh, is good to to have it uh, prepared and store it in the freezer and uh, use it when uh, whenever you you need it. So I'm going to start right now and I'm going to show you what I'm going to use for uh, for preparing this uh, puff pastry. So I have here one cup of water or 250 milliliters of water, one teaspoon of dry yeast one uh, tablespoon of sugar and i'm using brown but uh, caster sugar is just fine half a teaspoon of salt you can add a bit more but i'm not a big fan of salt so i'm just going to use half a teaspoon one tablespoon of melted butter at room temp and of course I'm going to need flour and I have here two cups and a half of flour or 270 grams. I'm going to activate the yeast, mixing it with uh, sugar and warm water and just uh, a few tablespoons of flour and let it bloom for uh, about 10 minutes. When you're going to see this mixture that is going to look like uh, foam, uh, then you are ready for the next uh, step and the next step requires uh, you to to mix the rest of the ingredients the salt the, the butter and the rest of the flour and I'm going to knead it dough, this dough on my uh, working surface here for about 10 minutes until the dough is not going to stick to, to your hands and it's going to be nice and smooth. So just knead it well for about 10 minutes as I said. And uh, let it dry for about an hour until or until uh, double in size. Now I, uh, I put the dough on my silicone uh, pad on a flower surface and stretch it with the rolling pin. I'm going to stretch it as a rectangular as you can see here. And in the freezer I had uh, butter, one stick of butter or 100 grams of butter. I kept it there for a half an hour and uh, I'm going to grate it all over the dough in an even layer try to do it fast because the warmth of your hands will uh, will melt the butter so try to do it fast try to spread the butter all over the dough like you see me doing here and in the freezer i have another stick of butter but i'm not going to use it right now for the moment just 100 grams just one stick of butter well grated Try not to grate your fingers because we only need butter, not uh, not fingers in there, right? Uh, put some flour on your hands and uh, pat the the butter. This way uh, is going to stick better to the dough and fold the dough. So this was the first fold of the dough. Now stretch again the dough. Uh, the folding is facing your body, so parallel with your bad body. In between uh, stretching, put the dough in the freezer for 15 minutes or in the fridge for about half an hour. You need the dough to be cold and uh, this way you're going to work it pretty nicely. So stretch it again as a rectangular, again on the silicone mat because it's kind of helpful even when you're uh, putting the dough in the freezer or fridge. So now again the other uh, stick of butter, the other 100 grams of butter that I kept in the freezer, grated over the dough. We repeat the same process. And this is all the butter that you need. So two sticks of butter or 200 grams. This is all you need for this amazing puff pastry that is going to taste incredible. Thank you. 
dust your hands with uh, with flour and uh, and spread the butter all over the the surface all over the dough in an even layer as i said before and fold the dough so the second fold put the dough now in the fridge or in the freezer again to be cool and nice and after that what you can stretch it again using again the rolling pin make sure that the fold is uh, parallel with your body and stretch it again as a rectangular shape and uh, try to to have it in an even layer and uh, if the dough is cold it's not going to stick to to your rolling pin or you can dust it a bit with flour on top but try not to add too much flour on uh, on this dough as you see it's pretty easy right and guess what i'm going to fold it again so this is the third fold right and uh, i love it i uh, i'm going to put it again in the fridge or the freezer and when uh, it's cool and nice guess what i'm going to stretch it again And you can use this dough for uh, for savory uh, meals, for uh, for pies, or for uh, simple desserts like the Queen Amman dessert. And for that, you only need sugar and cinnamon. And this puff pastry is going to make that dessert incredible. Again, incredible! I said incredible so many times in this recipe. I'm going to show you the savory uh, pie that I made. I have here some uh, chicken thighs without the bone and without um, the skin, cut it in small pieces and I uh, fry it in a pan with a bit of olive oil, like one or two tablespoons of that. I'm going to cook the meat just for a few minutes until it's going to have a bit of color. And uh, I will uh, remove it from the pan in a plate and continue with the rest of the ingredients so in a pan in a plate just keep the meat in a plate and in the same pan fry uh, an onion an onion that I diced finely and as you can see I have some brown mushrooms that I'm going to add I have some peas in the freezer that I'm going to use make this pie with whatever things you have in the fridge you can add some peppers you can make it more spicy or uh, or not that spicy all you need is vegetables and a bit of meat even some ham i think it will work to add there i didn't have or bacon i didn't have any bacon but uh, you can add if you have around so i'm frying the um, the onion right now you can add um, a knob of butter it will make the onion even tastier than uh, than it is uh, fried in uh, in oil add the mushrooms the peas and uh, when all the vegetables are, are cooked add one tablespoon of flour it's going to be enough to thicken this uh, this filling for the pie and uh, cook the flour for a few minutes add some water like 200 milliliters 250 milliliters of water and cook more the vegetables and now is the time to add back the meat and let it boil for about 10 to 15 minutes with the vegetables sprinkle salt sprinkle uh, fresh ground uh, pepper over these we need a filling to have taste as well as the puff pastry 
so uh, don't forget about salt and pepper in uh, in uh, meal and to make this even more uh, creamier and uh, nice looking and tasty guess what i'm going to add guess well of course i'm going to add some cream about 200 grams of cream or one cup of cream is going to be fine just add it over the vegetables cook for about five minutes and let the filling cool down completely Time to assemble the pie, so I'm going to cut from the puff pastry that I made uh, the dough, I'm going to place dough at the bottom of the dishes that I'm going to use for uh, for the pies and I use two ramekin dishes and, uh, and uh, a bigger one, uh, the oval one that you see now, place the filling in, uh, in, uh, in them the filling that uh, has cooled down and tastes amazing you can serve this filling even with pasta if you if you like and from the same dough i'm going to cut again and uh, cover the the filling with puff pastry again To make them look prettier, uh, beat an egg and uh, give them an egg wash and don't forget about the oven. You need the oven to be very well preheated to 200 um, uh, degrees Celsius or 392 Fahrenheit and bake them for about 25-30 uh, minutes until they look like this nice and uh, and roasted on roasted on top and they smell and taste amazing so this is uh, all you need to do to have an amazing puff pastry and even more amazing uh, pies thank you so so much for watching don't forget to subscribe it will help and mean a lot to me and uh, find reasons to smile every day and i'm going to see you here next time with another recipe and tell me if you made the puff pastry and uh, how did you use it i use it to make uh, queen amand dessert i use it to make the rolls filled with uh, with custard vanilla custard i use it to make pies what you've been using the puff pastry so let me know in the comments down below bye